How's it going, guys? Chris back here again with some more for all here in MTG Arena. Today, we're looking at a uh, Doorline? Doorline Cosmos Collar deck. And uh, we are bats. Um, they're mainly life gain synergy, but we have uh, one token payoff, I suppose. And uh, a couple of reanimation, uh, particularly with our commander. Start with Caves of Close in case we need a Daxos on turn two. We might not need a Daxos, and if we don't, we can um, just pause things out. But I think we start with our Daxos immediately. He's not a bat, but he's a Life King guy, and we kind of need Life King guys. There aren't many bats either, which is kind of sad. A lot of obscure change links have been featuring highly in my uh highly in my recent videos. Next turn I think we play Relic of Legends and then yeah, don't really want to turn anything, so I guess we're not gonna play that. We can play more, more bats. These bats, they're pretty good. Opponent. Commander, despite having a bow and being in the sky, does not have reach. Now, he always one of those, uh, one of those commanders that always felt like it should have reach. But she has never had reach, and that is kind of sad. We're going to get as many bats as possible in the field. That's our plan. Be the Bat King. Orca Bats first would have given us a little bit more EV, but we can't have all the EV, I suppose. The value train can stop for everybody. Eldrazi, I imagine? I don't know what that is, but I'm afraid I think it's an Eldrazi. Are we... Okay. Hmm. Don't know what the plan is, opponent. There's nothing in my graveyard. I cannot return things that are not there. Our opponent is a merfolk... Elf hybrid, I think. Or they have misread Priest of Titania. One of the two. Honestly? I don't know. I don't know. Um, team ups kind of remind me of Jumpstart, and Jumpstart is a fun format, but. Feeling that our, our 2 2 bat, our 3 3 bat commander in the sky is just going to do the job in two turns time. And uh, that feels pretty unavoidable at this rate. Is uh, Daxos going to die? Rude. I mean, I'll start playing flyers if we, uh, are dead set on killing Daxos. I want the yeah you know the Veil Lands man, they are powerful. Wondering the perfect card for the situation. And bye bye gorilla. Let me draw a card though. And I will swing in the air. Start racking up the uh, the commander damage, I suppose. If I count the 21, do I still win? I don't know. Rude opponent. Just going to play it again, I think. Probably not, I suppose. Could have left it in the bin, honestly. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, whatever. Whatever, opponent. Next turn, I'm gonna attack with my bats. At least two of them are gonna survive. Doesn't particularly matter which two. Older regular cohort gonna die. Mm -mm. If they don't block, okay. Well, now they're in a two turn to fog situation. There are uh, four elves on the battlefield. Am I uh, am I missing some? That's an elf. That's an elf. Uh, not an elf. Uh, no block on it. Yeah, kind of don't need to block. There's way too much card draw, though. Two cards. I mean, at least it is isn't Hunter's Instinct, because I, for a moment, thought it might be, but... Follows the list. Hmm. Changeling, come back. We will swing in with our commander. An outfield, I suppose. Without a death toucher, without a uh, indestructible creature around, uh, not as scary. And we get another flyer. You're the the least batty bat tribe, but worked with the resources available. There are only so many bats before Bloomboro, and uh, not that many in Bloomboro. So we have have what we have unfortunately we're going to game three i think that's game three it might be game two i've lost track of time i'm having a fun time with the bat um the mono green counters deck it's not as powerful of a matchup as our uh, old weasel friend was getting yesterday so uh nice to have a little bit more chill time a little bit more chill time it's really a shame because that deck could have used the wrath, and this one has wrath, but it's uh definitely in a more chill environment. I know this guy is. I know you. Elemental fish. If that even is your real name. Uh, instant sorceries. So if you cast. Each turn costs one less for each land you control with a blood counter on it. So, real disgusting stuff going on there. We are we're a builder now. Not 
You just have to spam kill the commander, I think. If he comes down and sticks around and cheapens everything a lot, we are in trouble. Because of the way cost reduction works in Magic. So, the first instant or sorcery spell you cast each turn cost one blue less for each land you control with a flood counter on it. If they get it on two, the, the best counter spells in the format are basically free. So sad. That's fine. Nothing in the bin. Nothing to grab. You wait. Non creature, non land. So that is kind of what we have to worry about. I don't know what our non creature, non land looks like. It's probably not great. Probably not zero either. Do I just play? Big boy. Maybe we just play the big guy. We leave back the Death Toucher to deter commander attacks. With Zoraline, it is a fairly formidable wall. That is at least a benefit that we have going for us. What talent have they chosen? It's Gossip's talent. Whenever a creature you control enters the battlefield, surveil one. Okay, fair enough. Fair, fair enough. Uh, I think I'm gonna offspring. If it doesn't enter, it doesn't make a copy. Fair enough. That's pretty... Pretty bad for us, honestly. Because of our commander, it doesn't matter, particularly, if our opponent counters this, because we can just... bring it back. We are working card disadvantage now. We have our life gain going. The Bloomberg has been a very fun set. Uh, it's racked my deck building brain pretty hard at times, but it's also just been Remarkably fun to play around with. They want to remove the boy. Okay. Boy has been removed. To level up, I'm just going to cast the boy again. You attack target creature with three power or less cannot be blocked. Sir. Well, that commander does not meet that requirement. Yeah, no, that works. Don't know why it shows me the graveyard. Hmm. I 
believe our opponent has a mana drain. We might also have a uh, another card. Oh, memory lapse. Decline. There's nothing in the graveyard. Just gonna go for this. I'm not throwing the best bat out into obvious counter manner. I'm pretty sure. That's what the plan was. It was to bounce it and counter it because there's no other way to get rid of it on the battlefield. Really, opponent? No, I kind of had to farewell, I think. I don't want to see their graveyard. Creatures. The final level. Yeah, that. I don't think this is gonna work. But I'd rather they spin their counter spell to get rid of the wrath than just hold it in their hand for the rest of the game. Really? Okay. That's kind of bad. She started answer. Okay. Uh, do you have it, opponent? Do you have it? That's my question. Tell me you don't have it. It is getting countered. Maybe. Yeah, spell stutter. Okay, that explains some things. Jokes on you, opponent. You can't have reduced cost on your instant and sorceries that you don't have. Generic mana, please be my savior. Generic Mano was my savior. I knew it was good for something. Uh, gonna grab a white source. White is needed for this combination. Nothing in the bin. Oh, actually, there was something. I can get an X turn. It's kind of bad, though. She didn't have any mana. Yet that is... According to my understanding, it shouldn't, uh... Shouldn't reduce generic mana. They cast Pearl of Wisdom. Without spending any mana. I don't know. Maybe maybe this guy's effect does work with generic mana, but I'm pretty sure it shouldn't. Pretty sure it shouldn't. But that uh 
but we have definitely had generic and they definitely did not pay a solid mana for it they used the cost reduction either way thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy remember to leave a like subscribe to the channel and i will